Good morning and welcome to Harbor Wildcat News. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Micah Witchin. Today we will introduce a new segment to our show, Lie Witness News. We will also take a look at the film Cameron Warfare that was submitted to a national competition, but this competition is not like the rest. Today is January 26, 2016 and HBWN starts right now. STN, Student Television Network, is the largest student broadcasting association in the United States. It gives students the opportunity to network with students from across the country, as well as hone their skills in broadcasting, filmmaking, writing, and acting. Here's the story. The television production class is kicking off their competition season with one of the biggest competitions of the year, where not only the students can compete, but the teachers can as well. STN stands for the Student Television Network. Uh, it's a competition that's going to be held in Atlanta, Georgia this year. Uh, we're taking about eight of us and we're competing in short film um, and other competitions like that. And then it's also a really big opportunity because it's the biggest film competition in the nation. So it's an honor to be going. The competition is harsh and only the best from all around the country come to compete. STN is a national competition for aspiring film students that allows them to compete with schools from all over the nation to see which school is best and who probably has the most potential in making in that field. STN is an opportunity for the students and teachers to demonstrate their talent and put their skills to the test to see who is the best in the country. STN is known as the Student Television Network and it's the largest affiliation for film and broadcast students. So each year they hold a national convention. Uh, this year it's in Atlanta, Georgia. The year before was San Diego, so they move every single year. Um, they hold a national convention in which students can come and participate and compete with the best students from all over the country in various aspects of film and broadcast. The year before, 2013 and 14, I think, is the first year we actually submitted the teacher video contest, and we won that year, so we took first in the nation. This is our third year competing, and hopefully with this one, we'll be back up among the top. Um, Camera Warfare was the first video that won, so the idea is that the world revolves around cameras, and that is technically our world. It revolves around cameras and gear like that. So we wanted to create this idea and concept that students were literally going through boot camp. The television program has been very successful in past years, and we look forward to seeing what comes of this year's competition season. Good luck to the students this year. For HBWN, I'm Brittany Lawson. Here with us now is Mr. Sherman, who not only played a key role in the film, but was also the creator behind it. Mr. Sherman, tell us a little bit about STN. Sure, so STN is Student Television Network. It is the largest broadcasting and film competition for students in the United States. So uh, at the end of the year, they hold nationals, and all the students from across the country come to one spot to compete to be the best in their uh, respective field. Uh, so there's broadcast competitions, there's film competitions, and there's even a teacher video competition. Now, Camera Warfare is a follow-up to the original Camera Warfare, which was submitted two years ago and placed first in the nation. Talk to us a little about how this film ties into the first one. Okay, so uh, the original Camera Warfare was a huge hit at the uh, competition. Uh, it took first place, and the idea behind that was that the cameras were actually the weapons in the, uh, the battlefield. So um, we really wanted to play off of that. You know, I run my students through what we call camera boot camp, where they actually have to go through the tripod phase and the cameras, and it's really like a military boot camp. So we wanted to play off of that and show the training behind becoming a camera person, so we created Camera Warfare 2. Um, can you talk to us about the creation process and how the film originated? Yeah, so um, when we originally created Camera Warfare, the original one, um, it was more driven by me, but the second one, the students loved it so much that they wanted to be involved in it. So we got with like Kindle King and Amber Carnish, and they started creating this script with me. Uh, then we did storyboards, and then one Saturday we got together and shot the whole thing in about 10 hours, and uh, we came up with what I feel is a pretty good film. Lighting, editing, camera work. It's all compiled in a three brief minutes to demonstrate all the skills that teachers constantly preach. This is Mr. Sherman's third year in the competition. Let's take a look at Camera Warfare. 
Dearest Susan, boot camp is tough, but I'm learning a lot. Sergeant Chapman has really taken me under his wing since the first day. You are here because your country needs more cameraman than ever before. Just pressing the record button does not make you a cameraman. I make you a cameraman. You will shoot harder. You will be this focused. Is 70 to 200. This will get you a clean headshot in 20 minutes. You will expect the unexpected, and I will turn you ladies into men. Where are you from, Cupcake? I'm from Arkansas Drill Sergeant. Do not address me. What's the first rule of being a cameraman? That's right. Cameraman, do not speak. If you want to speak, speak with your eyes. The last thing I want to hear when I'm watching my beloved show is for Cupcake to be whispering sweet nothings in my ear. Do you get me? Sergeant Chapman says that we should always expect the unexpected. I think I'm one of the top in my class. Prepare to assemble. Faster, faster, come on now. Let's go, Cupcake. Move it, Snowflake. Faster. Inspection time. Good. Next time, sweetheart. Satisfactory. Oh, what do we have here? He's a cute little fella. Always expect the unexpected, huh? Keep scrubbing, Cupcake. Yesterday was our first shooting exercise. Don't worry, Susan. There's a lot of action out there, but it's nothing I can't handle. Focus! We're shooting action here! Not the Ellen Show! Rolling off! Nice hit, Buttercup! Expect the unexpected! Big Bob! Oh! I've been hit! Say shooting! Cupcake! I wouldn't let you shoot a children's birthday party. So, dearest Susan, please do not fret. My time here has turned me into a man of my country. And I will return home soon. Love, your son, Kendall. Cupcake! Turn that light off or I'll come over there and make you white bounce till your fingers bleed. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Night, sweetheart. Cupcake, house lights down. Call time on 500. John Chapman, you tell our son good night. Yes, ma'am. Good night, Kendall. Good luck to Mr. Sherman in the competition. Regardless of whether you win or lose, I'm sure we will continue to be proud of you here at Harbor High School. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but stay right here because when we come back, our newest segment, Lie Witness News, hits the halls of Harbor. Harbor Wildcat News will be right back. Olive Garden's Buy One, Take One is back, but not for long. Starting at $12.99, join us tonight for your choice of irresistible entrees, like rich and creamy smoked mozzarella chicken bursting with Italian cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, plus unlimited garden salad and warm breadsticks. Then take home another entree free, like fettuccine Alfredo. It's two delicious nights of togetherness for one low price. Buy one, take one, starting at $12.99. Olive Garden, we're all family here. Now order Olive Garden to go online. Almost one out of every four students are bullied in school each year. But did you know that over half the situations stop if a student peer intervenes? It's time to join together and make a stand. And whether you're an athlete, in the band, or finding your own passion. Stand up, because together, we can make the difference. Hi, I'm Susie Everett with Everett Chevrolet. You've heard me say we have a better way to buy your new Chevy. If you've not been here to find out what that means, I want to invite you to come see us. You'll love the way we do business. And you can shop our great selection of the North American Truck of the Year, the Chevy Silverado, with the best V8 fuel economy of any full-size truck. Family owned, customer friendly, Everett Chevrolet in Springdale, I-49 at Elm Springs Road. Welcome back. Live Witness News is about incorporating the student body and just how much they know about our school. This week we created an imaginary player, Blake Evans, who suffered a season-ending injury. So we hit the halls of Harbor to see what the students thought about this made-up player and how it will impact the season. Let's take a look. 
As part of our new segment, Lie Witness News, we hit the halls of Harvard to find out what students and teachers thought about the made-up basketball player, Blake Evans. And what we found out is, students and teachers will say just about anything when in front of a camera. So how do you feel about Blake Evans, a lead player on our Wildcat basketball team? He was averaging 15 points a game, and he tore his ACL. How do you think this is going to affect the season? Um, I think that our team is, I mean, with everyone working together, it'll be fine. I think that'll definitely affect our season and how it goes because, I mean, if that's 15 points a game, that's 15 points lost, you know? Uh, I feel sorry for him because I understand what it's like to go through a knee injury, but I don't know what it's going to affect the season. I think we'll push through it, win some games. Um, I think it'll affect it a little bit because he's a good player, but... I think it'll be fine because we have good players. I don't think it'll affect the Wildcats too much. I mean, we're pretty solid this year. I mean, we, we still got we still got Avery running the point, and I think we'll have no trouble. Um, it's probably going to be pretty hard on the players that they're not going to have someone who's effective on the court with them. Um, it'll affect it, but um, the team will come through. They'll, they'll finish strong. Well, um, I think that it'll just make the other players step up. And I think they will, considering he's a lead player, and they'll want to keep up the streak for him. Well, I think they just need to take it one game at a time. Uh, I think the best uh, offense is a good defense, uh, control the ball, control turnovers, uh, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I think they'll be fine. Thanks, Wildcat Nation, for playing along. It was all in good fun. But be sure to come out and support the real players every Tuesday and Friday night. For Lie Witness News, I'm Sarah Gill. Remember, Wildcats, it's all in good fun. Be sure to show your school spirit by coming to the Lady and Men's Wildcat Basketball Games every Tuesday and Friday night. That's all the time we have for this show. Don't forget to tune in next week as we take a look at one community member who is bringing the rest of the world right here into our own backyard. As well as the new Chromebooks, which have now gone school-wide. Remember, you can tune into our sister station, WCSN. It airs on the Springdale Public Schools YouTube channel before every Wildcat game. We are also broadcasting on channel 219 on Cox Cable. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Micah Witchin. We'll see you next week.